Welcome back, everybody, to Rotten Vlogger. We apologize for the delay, but, you know, sometimes life just gets in the way of posting on YouTube for no money. I'm Josh. Today, I'm going to show you Liquid Sky. This is a service I found a few weeks ago. It's pretty cool, but if you have a gaming computer, it kind of doesn't serve a purpose. It installs without admin rights which means theoretically you should be able to run Liquid Sky on a school computer, on a work computer, from a thumb drive. It's a remote computer that streams the video and audio to your tower that you're playing on and it sends your input to that tower on the server. You don't need to have a hardcore gaming device to play cutting edge title. High performance hardware, low latency, play for free it is done through ad support. You watch ads on the Liquid Sky platform and it gives you about 20 to 30 minutes per ad of playtime. And the ads are usually only about 45 seconds long. So anyways, these are the two plans that you get to choose every time you turn on your Sky computer. Gamer, it's good for older titles, but if you want to get all hardcore, you can do uh, Pro Gamer. 16 gigs of RAM, it's got a very beefy uh, GPU, and it runs games awesome. It costs double the amount of Sky credits an hour that the Gamer one runs at. But even on Gamer, if you're running older titles, it'll run at about 30 to 60 frames a second. Gamer's most of what I use. <laughs> they also have three different pricing tiers. Free is supposed to be just ad supported. This option was not available when I signed up for Liquid Sky. Pay as you go, you pay just once. $4.99 to start. They give you 720 Sky credits, but then you're also able to earn the 180 Sky credits a day playing the ads. You get 100 gigs of storage, which is enough for quite a few games. But if you don't log into your computer at least once every seven days, it will reset your computer. Very, very stupid. You can choose the uh, monthly. This gets you as much credits as you'll need to play on the uh, ultra beefy uh, GPU all the time. You get more gigs of storage and also your computer never expires if you don't log in. Anyways, let's take a look at Liquid Sky. Okay, we're on the Liquid Sky desktop. If you hit F11, it will full screen the window. And also if you hit F12, it will bind the mouse to Liquid Sky. I like to leave it un unbound while I'm on the desktop because for some reason, uh, with this latest patch, if you hit F12, your mouse disappears. It's pretty irritating. Uh, it did not happen in the previous version, but once you're in a game, it's not a big deal because the mouse is there in the game. If you go up to the little teardrop icon, you can choose to use a Xbox or PlayStation wired controller, and you can go ahead and bind the buttons there. You can choose between 1080 and 720p streams. You choose your frame rate uh, and you can adjust the quality using the slider yourself. Let's hop into a game. All right, you can see my mouse is bound to the game. So let's hop right in. There is a bit of latency, but as long as you're not playing like a first person shooter or a player versus player, type of game, it's not too miserable to play. I used to be subscribed to OnLive, which was another online game streaming service, and this has less latency than the online service did. Any games you purchase through Steam or Origin, you'll be able to import onto the Liquid Sky computer. Uh, they do not allow you to install pirated games and supposedly they they check your tower to make sure you don't have pirated games so don't don't risk it it's not worth it all right looks pretty nice let's see what it looks like in uh 1080p all right this is liquid sky running at 1080p with auto turned on there's not a lot of uh, blockiness or anything. Alright, let's hop into Cody. 
I am running a custom build. Cody does run very nicely on the Liquid Sky computer due to their high bandwidth. I believe my average is about 300 megabits down, uh, so you don't have any problem buffering a title. Let's just hop into something. Okay, it started the title and it plays without any stalling. I have had no buffering issues with Liquid Sky with video. Very neat. So if you're in a hotel room with limited bandwidth, Liquid Sky should be a good option as all the buffering is done on their end. Yay! Well, that was my tour of Liquid Sky. Once again, it only costs $4.99 to start, and I am now at 1,400 credits just by watching ads. Thank you for joining us on Rotten Vlogger. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, I don't care. If you like me, go ahead and subscribe. All right, thanks for watching. Goodbye!